Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and hopefully you're all synced in. Okie dokie, let's see the positions. So we've got positions across the map. Savior and um, Savior is at uh, the ten o'clock position, and Firebat Hero at about three o'clock, four o'clock. So um, definitely, anyone who tries to rush is going to find themselves uh, in a little bit of a surprise. It's going to be difficult to scout as well because of the locations, the spawn locations. The scout is going to probably take a long time to find the opponent. Excuse me, and uh, because of the fact that they, you have to go through at least one spawn location before you can get to your opponent's spawn location regardless of the direction in which you scout and uh, that's going to be another thing that excuse me is going to discourage rushing and the clock just shows 37 seconds in my uh, when I said that it's now I'll, I'll tell you when it gets to, f to a minute so uh, for anyone wondering I can see the clock in the top left and it says it's, uh, I'll tell you when it gets to a minute it's about 10 seconds away from one minute so I'll give you guys a countdown to one minute if you want just to make it easy. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, one minute. Okay? Radio, so as I said, um, hopefully I think I think Savior should go for a pretty standard build here. I think he'd be very safe uh, going for a standard 3 hatch build because um, rushes are not going to be very effective on this map. And uh, Savior, I think it looks like he is going to go for that because this, I mean, this map is probably one of the maps where you, you'd be not expected to rush. So in that case, if you did manage to get a rush off successfully, it'd be more successful. Uh, a rush off well it'd be more successful but it's just too risky it's just the chances of a rush failing are too risky and Firebat here starting up that barracks it seems before even he started up his force okay no he's got his force supply depot so Firebat here going for a standard build probably one barracks um, I, I think he's probably going to tech. I don't think he's going to go for one racks into CC like he did last game. And Savior taking that, uh, taking his natural. So Savior uh, going for the build. There are a lot of choke points, uh, a lot of middle line choke points that, that I would say advantage Terran on this map. But at the same time, those choke points are easy for a Zerg player to defend. And uh, Savior just scouting with his overlords. He's in no rush to scout Firebat Hero. Um, he, he's not interested in sacrificing an economy, a drone from his economy to do that. And uh, that's interesting to note. Uh, and it does look like Savior is going to go for three hatch before spawning pool on this occasion because uh, of the nature of the map and probably because he anticipates that it's going to be very difficult for anyone to rush. Mm -hmm. And Savior, I'm not sure what he's doing with that drone, where exactly he's sending it. He's just sending a drone. I think he's sending that drone out to scout protection. Okay, no, he's not. He, he's forced to build his third actually just at the, at the bottom of that ramp there, because it is very difficult. The, the positioning of that natural does make it a little bit difficult in terms of uh, just building a sunken line. So you're almost, if you're going to take that natural min-only expansion, you're almost forced to build your third expansion out there as well, uh, in order to be able to defend. And I think Savior is going to be fine in terms of defense, because even though Firebat Hero has got his SC game, Firebat Hero is going for one rack CC, so Firebat Hero going for almost exactly the same strategy he went last time around. Um, this time around, though, Savior doesn't have the uh, advantage of the easy three gas, so you're going to see a lot more of an even game. And Savior, I think, was a little bit luckyish in the last game. We had three gas. Firebat Hero didn't pressure him at all, and therefore Savior was able to decimate him with that three gas. But this time, Savior is only going to have two gas, and Firebat Hero is going to have two gas very early as well, or as early as Savior is going to have it. And that's certainly something that's going to work to Firebat Hero's advantage on this map. So you've got to feel that um, while the starting blows are fairly similar and there's no advantage uh, to either player you've got to feel that Firebat Hero probably is a lot better off in this game than he was on Loki and again the problem on Loki was that Firebat Hero refused to pressure Savior early on and that served to his demise Firebat Hero once again uh, going for that very fast tech build versus Savior and it'll be interesting to see what Savior does here versus Firebat Hero this is going to be a much more standard game because with two gas Savior is going to have to battle it out versus Firebat Hero he's not going to be able to have a million lurkers 10 million defilers sorry a million lurkers 2 million defilers 10 million Million guardians along with 5,000 zerglings um, in this game. So Savior is going to find a little bit, a little bit more difficult. And uh, he's just going to try and take that SCV out before he gets up the ramp. If he can deny the scout here to Firebat Hero, that would be excellent. Firebat Hero micro his SCV very well. So uh, Firebat Hero denying Savior the scout. Uh, Savior not able to deny Firebat Hero the scout. And Firebat Hero is going to be able to deny Savior the scout in turn. And Firebat Hero has scouted that early layer by Savior. But uh, I'm sure once he saw the three hatch build, that's what he was going to expect that anyway. Once he saw those two hatcheries at the, at the expo. So pretty standard game so far. I think what's going to be interesting to see if Firebat Hero uh, tries or is able to pressure Savior early on in this game because that's one thing he didn't do. He let Savior just get ready for him and, and he didn't move out of his base. He turtled and he didn't move out till he had like four tanks and six science, three science vessels and a large group of medical marines. And by that stage, Savior had completely outgrown him. So it'll be interesting to see if Firebat Hero does pressure Savior on this occasion. Savior though is very good at keeping an opponent pinned back, keeping an opponent from pressuring him, and that's something Savior is very good at. Savior, Firebat Hero is just going to see those Zerglings move, moving down towards him. Firebat Hero almost has got his factory up, he's also building his academy. So Firebat Hero once again doing exactly what he saw him do the last time. And Savior going for that, that uh, high
Raiden has done before his uh, Slayer this time around. So Savior might be what he might be trying to do is he might be trying to do what Gorash did, although not as effectively, uh, perhaps because he did go for three hatchery build, whereas Gora Gorash went for two hatcheries into fast worker. So Savior looks like he's going for three hatcheries, uh, and uh, he has got his lamp blocked off. But Firebat Hero might see that Hardness Dancer. Firebat Hero is going to scout that Hardness Dancer. Firebat Hero is going to anticipate those fast lurkers. But there's not much he can do about those fast lurkers um, from Savior. But that unfortunately Savior's strategy revealed to Firebat Hero, and so Savior's Spire is going to go very late. And Firebat Hero is going to be safe in not being forced to build an early engineering bay and not being forced to build turrets early. And he's not going to have ex to expend resources on that. So that's going to work to Firebat Hero's advantage. So I think Savior is probably uh, going for those fast lurkers so that he can probably try and defend an extra expansion and try and get four gas. And that's exactly what Savior is doing. That has been scouted by Firebat Hero. And Firebat Hero does have a medic and marine group. So I'm not sure if Savior is going to be very. Uh, and Savior slowed down in that expansion. That's very bad for Savior. Savior needs to send a couple of Zerglings down there to help out his SCV, uh, his, his drone. Uh, to take from taking that to take that expansion, Saber now forced to send a group of Zerglings down there. But Firebat Hero has scouted that. So Saber is going to have to. Saber is not going to be able to take that expansion, and Saber is going to retreat that drone because Firebat Hero has scouted that with that SCV. So that was brilliant scouting by Firebat Hero. As I said before, Firebat Hero is very good at scouting. Firebat Hero already has that tank and medic and marine group up. You've got to feel he's going to have that science facility popping out not too long from now. His starport is almost complete. Uh, and he's got his engineering bear as well, which he doesn't really need right now because Saber hasn't even started building his fire. Last we checked, and uh, but Saber should have those lurkers up fairly early, so he should be able to. Uh, Defend anything that Firebat Hero throws at him, uh, but Savior not going for that expansion. That that's going to affect. That's going to change the, the force of this game a lot because Savior, because he was scouted by Firebat Hero, has changed his strategy and not gone for the expansion. Unless he's gone for the expansion in the south at the uh, eight o'clock base, I can't tell from from the, from looking at the radar. But I don't think Savior has gone for an, uh, for another expansion. Uh, but but it's, it's, again, it's impossible to tell from the radar. It does look like there is something down there at the eight o'clock base potentially that, that is going down there, and uh, I think they're going to click on it now. Yes, so Savior has gone for the expansion. So Savior persisting with that strategy, and Savior is already taking to hive. So both players taking very fast in this game. Saber is going to have his fire up very soon, but he only has the two gas on this occasion, so he can't afford to have as many lurkers and mutilists as he did the last game. And Firebat Hero, um, in terms of the fact that Firebat Hero has very, been very good at scouting throughout this matchup in all the two games, and even in this game thus far, you've got to feel that Firebat Hero will be good at scouting. Saber doing an excellent job with just a handful of Zerg and keeping Firebat Hero pinned back, and so therefore, he has not been forced to spend any resources at all on making sunkens at his natural exploit. And I think that's huge. I think the fact that Firebat Hero has failed to pro uh, apply any pressure on Saber, he sacrificed that pressure in order to go for that fast tech and fast command center. And Savior, being the, the ma maestro that he is, has countered that by not investing in any sunkens. But Savior is going to need those sunkens sooner rather than later. At some stage, Firebat Hero has got that dropship up, so that's going to be key. Firebat Hero going for a, a dropship. I think Firebat Hero is actually going to take that expo in the middle of the island expo. I don't think Savior is going to expect that. Savior has got a. Uh, an overlord over there, so if he can see that dropship, that's going to be absolutely key. But that overlord is not able to see that expansion, I believe. So Firebat Hero very sneaky, and that's brilliant play by Firebat Hero. If he can get an expansion up and running, uh, and Firebat Hero drops the expansion at the top uh, right of the map. He's dropping the expansion at um, two, at one o'clock, thinking that Savior is going to at two o'clock, thinking that Savior is going to go for it. And he scans now and realizes that Savior has not gone for the expansion. Savior was brilliant in that maneuver. So he's bought himself a lot of time, and Firebat Hero making a little bit of it. Firebat Hero going with another dropship, uh, and Firebat Hero is taking that island expo with that dropship. So Firebat Hero is bunkering down for a long game. Um, wouldn't be surprised if we saw if we saw uh, battleships and science vessels massed again by Firebat Hero. Firebat Hero is going to reload that dropship, and uh, he's bound to scan the bottom left of the map and find Savior's Expo. But Savior's got lurkers up now, so Savior should be able to defend that Expo. Savior's got his lurkers up. He's got his fire up. He's also got his defilers and almost complete. Firebat Hero has yet to push out from his main. I got a feel that Firebat Hero is making a little bit of a mistake here. Obviously, he's confident in his yeah, ability yeah, to, to harass Saber, to attack Saber. And I think Saber does not aw is not aware of that dropship. So Saber might find his economy under threat here. Saber is going to see that dropship coming from a long way, uh, from a relatively from a relatively decent distance. He's got a Nihilus Canal. He's got a few troops there anyway. But he doesn't have any sun because Saber might yeah. find himself in trouble. He might end up losing all his tech buildings to this attack from Firebat Hero if he doesn't get his defense forces there in time. And Saber is bound to have spotted this attack from those two overlords. And Saber needs to bring bring his units back. And Saber trying to get those. Uh, Zerglings and hired this back, and uh, Savior, I think, is, is, should be able to defend it successfully. Firebat Heroes uh, units. Firebat Heroes actually, no, Firebat is actually going to take out uh, Savior's defending units, and he's going to actually be able to damage uh, Savior's economy because Savior's Spire is in under attack, uh, and Savior's Spire taking a lot of damage, but Firebat Heroes only, only got, has only got a single, uh, single Marine attacking that Spire. Uh, two Marines attacking that Spire, so Savior is going to be able to successfully defend it. So the fact that Savior had those overlords just to the right of his main, uh, to the right of his natural expo, allowed him to see that drop coming. 